The Kansas Jayhawks are at odds of plus 8,500 to win the Big 12 Conference Championship. Last season saw the Jayhawks go 3-9 straight up, 5-7 against the spread, and 4-8 and on the over-under. The Kansas Jayhawks entered the 2015 campaign looking to snap a six-year stretch of losing seasons, and first-year head coach David Beatty has already been thrust into making some very tough decisions before coaching even one game. This is Beatty's first ever head coaching job, although he has a resume dating back to 1994 of coaching in some capacity at both the high school and college levels. There is bad news during the spring game in preparation for the new campaign, starting quarterback Michael Cummings, who is entering his senior season, went down with a knee injury and had to have surgery to repair the damage. That will likely keep him out of the fall practices and possibly deep into the 2015 season. Beatty and offensive coordinator Rob Likens will try to pick up the pieces and decide which quarterback they will need to invest the most time in to be ready for their season opener. With senior quarterback Cummings lost to the knee injury in the spring game, the first big difficult decision on Coach Beatty's plate is who to put under center to call the signals. Junior Montel Cozart has the most returning experience with the Jayhawks, and he has appeared in 13 games in his first two seasons with the program. Cozart is your customary two-way threat. He can both toss the rock around the field and make plays with his feet on any given play. It would seem only natural to hand Cozart the keys to the offense to start. Only two other starters return on offense other than Cummings, and they both appear in the front five. Center Joe Gibson started the last seven games of the 2014 season, and his progress has earned him a big opportunity to lead the offense for the next three years, if he can stay healthy. Right tackle Larry Mazik enters his senior season at 6'8 and 345 pounds, so good luck to all you left defensive ends who think you'll have a good day against the Jayhawks. As is the case with the offense, the defense only returns three starters from 2014, so the spring sessions had a huge influence on who could be seen filling the eight open slots for new faces. David Beattie decided to go with co-defensive coordinators this year to keep everyone on the same page and improve the 104th ranked defense. Clint Bowen and Kenny Perry both bring coaching experience to the secondary and act as co-defensive coordinators. They are both still the safeties and cornerbacks coaches respectively. The Jayhawks deploy a 4-2-5 scheme essentially playing with a full-time nickelback to impact the coverage. Senior Jake Love will enter his senior season on the weak side, with Shyler Miles and Courtney Arnick likely to be splitting time in the rotation, but depth from there on in is a major concern. The front four will be led by senior Ben Goodman, who returns on the left side of the line to have more of a vocal role, as well as lift his game to a Big 12 level. A very young and inexperienced squad will be the product that David Beatty has to be coaching this season. And you have to recognize that the Jayhawks have only won 12 games in the last five seasons, having no more than three wins in any one of those given campaigns. Most media outlets don't have Kansas winning more than a game or two this season. So we will surmise that they see South Carolina State and possibly Memphis as two early wins. But for our pick and prediction, a 4-5 or five win season might be extremely difficult for Kansas to achieve. We agree that another possible 3-win season could certainly be the case in Lawrence this year. For our Kansas Jayhawks betting predictions, check out the Bang the Book Betting Center. And don't forget that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sportsbooks.